I can. I'm recording this video for, to help you with the maths. Uh, the Easy Maths program said you've got two problems at the minute, and I've got both of them here for you. I was hoping to go through them with you when you appeared for the meeting. Now I've started the meeting and I've sent you a, a link, but you're not here. Anyway, these are the maths problems. This one is. It's called the distributive property of multiplication, this one. Squirt has invited 13 people to a party. Each person will get a plate of four slices of pizza. How many slices of pizza does he need? That's the problem. And what they want you to do is they want you to think about those 13 pieces of pizza as 10 lots of four and then three lots of four because it's easier to work out that way and then you can do it in your head. So they want you to work out 10 lots of four and then three lots of four and then you, so we went to the next page on Easy Maths, which was this one. There are 10 lots of four, how many is that? 40. And then three lots of four or 12. And then you add them together. So you got to this page He wants to work out 13 lots of 4, so he works out 10 lots of 4 are 40, and then you can work out 3 lots of 4 are 12. And then you can add the 12 and the 40 together and get 52. That's what they wanted you to do and it says you've got problems with that. So I'm going to go to another page and I'm going to see, give, give you some to, to try. And you can see this is, um, we go to another one, that's your second problem. Right, this one, let's make a background blue again. So Supposing you have um, 16 people coming to the party and each person is going to get um, four sandwiches. Six people and then you've got four sandwiches each. How many have you got all together? What they're suggesting you do is you take that 16 and you split it into one lot of 10 and one lot of 6. And you can easily multiply that in your head. You can say 4 lots of 10 will give you 40 sandwiches. And 6 lots <coughs> of 4 sandwiches will give you 24. So you will need altogether 64 sandwiches. So that you can say 16, 16 times 4 equals 64. And it's a quick way of doing it in your head. I hope that's helped you. If you've been here, I would have gone through some more problems and tried to sort them out for you. The other thing, that's the one problem you had. And I'm going to ask the machine to retest you. So if you've understood it, it you'll get it right next time. The other problem you had was this. It was taking um, two three-digit numbers and rounding them to the nearest hundred number. Now it said you couldn't do that. I don't know why not. But you got to round them to the nearest hundred. Maybe you didn't understand that. The nearest hundred means this column here. So you've got no, did, no units and no tens when you round it to the nearest hundred. And what you do is you look at these numbers and that one is near, the nearest hundred to that is 300. And the nearest 100 to that is 200. So you add those two together and you get 500. 
which was the answer to that one. So that one there is almost 300. And that one there is almost 200. So if you put them together, you get an answer that's almost 500, round about 500, which is a good enough answer. That's what they wanted you to do. Have you understood? I'll ask the machine to retest that for you as well. Um, so let's um, rub that out and I'll show you another one. Get rid of that. Here's another one. It showed me several for you, several ideas. This, this other one is 291 and 176. What's the nearest 100 to that? So it has to be 100. The nearest 100, round it to 100 means it's either 200 or 300 or 400 or 500, which is the nearest 100 to that one? Well, if we take 291, the nearest 100 to that is 300. The nearest 100 to 176 is 200. If you add those together, the 200 and the 300, that's almost 500. So 500 is the answer that goes in there. Did you understand that one? I've got another one to show you and then hopefully you've got it. Oops, <laughs> the answers have gone as well. Let me undo that and rub these out. So the next one is just the same. You see where the two three digit numbers are nearest to and then you round them. Okay, so here, what's the nearest hundred to this? The nearest 100 to 637 is, is it 600 or is it 700? Which one are you going for? If I were you, I'd go for the 600. Now, which is the nearest 100 to 187? Is it 100? or 200. And again, if I were you, I would go for 200. So that when you add those two together, the 600 and the 200, it gives you the answer to the nearest 100 would be 800. And that would be the answer that goes in there. Okay, now I would have preferred you here, and then I could have made sure that you knew those. But I'll give you the answer on Easy Maths. I get, I'll, no, sorry, I won't give you the answer. I'll ask Easy Maths to test you again. And um, I'll see how you get on. I wanted to see you today to say I've, it's been fun working with you. I also wanted to tell you that there are a few things you haven't done yet. Okay, so that's the end of the maths. I'm going to stop that. I'm going to send it to you.